Okay, okay, okay. Versatile vigilante, young Vince, Uncle Vinny. Got a special guest in the building, the man, Wahala TG. Mm -hmm. My guy. You already know him, bro. Welcome, welcome. How you living today, bro? I'm living good, bro. How are you? I'm good, man. I really appreciate you coming out. Very excited for this interview. Yeah, man. You already know, bro. Let's get it, bro. Let's, is this your first interview? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fire. We need to hear the Wahala TG backstory, bro. Talk a little bit about where, uh, where you grew up and kind of what you were up to before you started making music. Yeah, so you know, I grew up on Western Road. I was there for like 11 years. Then I moved out to Vaughn, the V's, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, yo, Western Road is, I'd say, one of the most iconic streets in Toronto. Like, yeah. it's referenced in songs. If you're in the city, you know Western Road. Yeah. Did, uh, did growing up there for 11 years shape you, you feel? Yeah, you know, it's like it's a different environment. Most like, I feel like it's the most diverse part of like Toronto, you know? Facts. So, like, um, it's lots of like Africans, Caribbeans, Europeans, Asians, mix of everything, you know? So it was nice, you know, bear nice food, bear eats, you know what I mean? So Western Road is yeah. definitely probably the food hot spot. Yeah. And it's like the hole in the wall spots too with the best food. Yeah. There's no chains out there. Yeah. I fuck with that, bro. Um that's also a lot of iconic artists came from Western Road too. Yeah. Was that something you saw growing up? Like, damn, these guys are making it making it happen. It's gonna be me. Yeah, you know. As a kid, I, I was like, fuck, I'd never be a rapper. I can't lie. Okay. Yeah. What were you looking to be? Man, I told my... Young Wahala. I don't want to be a fucking astronaut or some shit. I want to be, I don't know. I like space. So, you know, I was fucking with um, learning about space and all that shit and going to the moon. I don't know. I was just a young kid. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. So, yeah. So, I was fucking with stuff. I want to be an astronaut as a young kid, yeah. I fuck with that. So, were you big into school and... You know, nah. I can, you, you just fuck with the I space. Just, yeah, I just fuck with space. I you fuck know, with that, yeah. bro. So where did that transition come from to going from I want to be an astronaut to let me let me pick up some some microphones and write some rhymes? Fucking the quarantine. Mm. So the quarantine, basically, I always used to like freestyle and like PlayStation parties and shit, you know? Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, one day my bro just got a mic. Got a mic at the crib. So, you know, he was making tracks. I kept seeing him making tracks every day. I'm like, fuck, one day, you know? I was like, fuck it, let me just try a thing, you know? So I tried it, and I was like, shit, I, I liked it. I sent it to man, so man's were fucking with it. But, you know, but that track was ass, but they said, like, they seen the potential, so, you know, I just kept going. It lit the fire for you. Yeah, and it was fun to do, so I just kept going. And before that, you had really no thoughts about it? Nah. That's crazy, bro. Nah. I was honestly expecting you to say, like, yeah, I've been wanting to do it. I was just putting it off. Yeah, You nah. just kind of said, let's get it. Yeah. That's fire. So your homies were, were enjoying that. Did you jump right into a next song, or what was what was so, kind of that process for you? I made, um, the first song I ever made, I, what was it called again? I think it's called, like, Devin Booker. Okay. I made a song called Devin Booker, and then, um. Yeah, so man's were like, oh, yeah. You know, if I take it to the studio, sound blessed, you know, I should I should pursue it and shit. And then I was like, you know. They saw that right off yeah. the jump from, from yeah. you, that you had something. Yeah. Where your friends, like, oh, fuck. Technical difficulties. Yeah, so, um, so, so, so. Were your friends music guys already? Like, were they already in the game a little bit? Nah. I knew, um, I knew a one-two man that was doing the music thing. Like a one-two, but, you know, like, not like... My main, main circle wasn't really pushing it like that. Right, but right, right. Yeah, like my outer circle, yeah. I knew a couple guys that were doing that type shit. Okay, and did you hit them for kind of some guidance? Show you yeah, yeah, yeah. I was tapping in with everybody, trying to, you know, just, just get some some knowledge and some game, you know? That's but, a great way to approach it, bro, because yeah. especially if you enjoy it right off the beginning, it's like, yeah. let's get better at it, too. Yeah. It's even more fun when you get sick at something. Yeah. That's real. So, Devin Booker, what, what, what was that uh, inspiration? You big Phoenix Suns fan? No, nah, no, nah, not even. <laughs> I was just in the whip. I was just, I literally did it in the Honda Civic, bro. I was fucking recording in the whip. You know what I mean? And then, I don't know. We get on. We did it on the phone. So, you know, it oh, sounded shit. hard. I put it on the mic, and it wasn't even sounding too bad. So, it was, it was a blast. So, from there, I was like, yeah. I might, I might take this serious. Okay, there we go, bro. I like that. And then you, were you doing videos right off the top? Because I see you have some videos out, too. Yeah, I have a couple videos. A lot of more videos are coming soon. But, yeah, I have, like, a one, two, like, maybe, like, five vids. Yeah. Five vids right now. 
I'm still pushing. I just dropped the EP, Poetic Romance. You know what I'm saying? Go check that out. You know what I'm saying? That shit's crazy. Lots of nice love songs, groovy songs, you know? Facts. Get you bopping, get your head moving type shit. You know what I mean? We were talking about before the interview, too, how it was a little bit of a different sound to what some other songs yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, And I guess that was something <clears throat> we were planning to do, just switch it up on, yeah. on the people. Yeah. So, you know, I wanted to show, like, my versatility, you know? You're in the so, right yeah. place right now. I like doing the R&B, the dance hall, the afro, the rap, you know what I'm saying? The hip-hop, maybe pop soon. You know, I'm trying to tap in with everything. Yeah, very. It's, to, yeah. it's a good strategy because if, if you think about all the biggest artists, they all kind of have those different songs too. Yeah. The obvious one is Drake. Like, he yeah. has a bunch of different pops, reggae, different dance. Songs, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I think that's a good model to kind of base yourself after. Yeah. If you can do it. Which you can, so yeah, why not? 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real as fuck, bro. And I saw your videos are very good quality too. Like you're tapped in with some. Yeah, good yeah. Guys. Shout out to Evil Eye. Evil Eye coming yeah. up. Evil Eye, this is a guy, man. Was tapped that something in. you knew early on, where it's like, yo, if I'm doing this, it's got to be good quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. Shout out to Twenty Two Tiger. You know. Yep. Yeah. That's good, That's bro. Real one still. Yo, I was listening to Habit. I like that a lot. You fuck with Habit? I fuck with Habit a lot. I fucked with the... Uh, you know what I really like, though? The one where you're rapping in front of the lake. Oh, that, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I watched the like moon. a performance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fire, bro. Yeah, you were bro. saying some real shit on that, too. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a pain song. Yeah. Pain, yeah. You, I remember you opened it up like... I like I'm paraphrasing but it's like I'll do so much for someone even if they don't do anything for me yeah that's was that some shit that you were going through at that time like, yeah 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 I was just saying some real shit you know that I just live about type shit you know yeah yeah so you know yeah I think that putting it in the music's a good way to kind of express that yeah you know? it's just a good way to just get it off your chest it makes you feel nice when you're just talking you're paying through the mic you know Five. just expressing who you are and what you go through and all that type of shit Oh, that's real, bro. Is is that something that you've been dealing with as you've been on this music journey? Like, damn, I, I'm I gotta do this myself because yeah, because no one if you don't get it yourself, no one's gonna get it for you. Type shit, you know what I mean? Real shit. Yeah, that's a tough lesson to learn, but I think net mandatory almost. Yeah, you know, it's like I can't rely on anyone else. If they fuck with me, awesome. Yeah, but I gotta be the boss of my own shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real, man. Were you always kind of like that? Nah. I started to realize that more, like, during, like, the process of, like, music and shit, you know? Like, yeah, people say they're there, but nah. You know? It's, it's like, once you, like, you leave high school, that's when you really take it in, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're really, like, by yourself type shit. You know what I mean? Facts. That's when it really hits you. That's when you get that reality check, like, fuck, I need to wake up. I need to go get this money. I got to go hustle. I got to pursue my dreams. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, that's, after high school, that's when you really, like, tap in with, like, your inner self and, like, got to, like really like realize like what life is real shit. shit that's a good point you made bro because when you're in high school you're literally around yeah, each other around a bunch day. of kids and shit yeah all you know, day it's like fuck and then you leave that literal building and it's like oh shit yeah it's like fuck yeah man if you don't do it no one's doing shit yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. you gotta get yourself still bro how long ago were you in high school it's a high school i'm 21 holy shit so i was in high school like what four years five years ago i don't know Okay, so it's been a minute now, but yeah. you're a young guy, bro, and you're you're already keeping it pushing. That's something I've seen in the city a little bit, like the younger group era. Yeah, hard workers, man. That's yeah. what I love to see. I think talent is huge, but that work ethic is yeah even bigger, bro. And and uh, I like that you've already got an album because you said you started in COVID. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. that long ago. Yeah, you know, nah, it's been a minute. Three years, it's been like it is, years. it is, and it isn't. You yeah. know, but the fact that you have a catalog in that time is impressive because it shows your building, you yeah. know? It took a long time to, like, find, like, my sound type shit, you know? Yo, I think you're still finding it, but that's the beautiful yeah. thing. It's a beautiful thing, you know? That's a that's a skill, though, bro, like, finding my sound but still able to release projects and put out work. Yeah. You know, I think that's one thing artists do sometimes that hurts themselves. Like, I'm finding my sound, so I'm not releasing. But then no one's... You yeah. know, like you gotta be out there if, yeah. if you're trying to be in that game. Now that was a problem there. I was going through. Like I have yeah. like I have like hundreds of songs, you know, 
I just keep them in my phone. I'm like, nah, nah, I got to do this. I got to do that. Like, I got to get this right. I got to right. do this. But now I'm like, fuck. You know, I only live once. Fuck, fuck pleasing people. Sometimes just, just do what I want. You know, start drafting some fucking music, man. Real shit. That's yeah. a great way. That's a great way to put yeah. it, man. Fuck it. Like, yeah, if fuck I fuck man. with it, it's coming out. fucking music, man. That's real as fuck, man. And, and the other thing with that, too, it's like, in the time that we're in, I called it, like, the TikTok era. Yeah. Like, bro, it moves so fast. Like, if we're waiting to drop a, a banger, yeah, like... Yeah, you can't do that shit no more, man. You can't. No. Nah. Unless you're at the Drake level, I think. Yeah. You can do whatever the fuck you yeah. want. But coming up, I think you gotta be aggressive. You gotta be aggressive, releases. yeah. That's I got real. some more shit probably coming. I got another track, Fall, is coming out just now. Fall? With my my dogs, Rackies. That's my fucking nigga, man. Fuck Shout out, Rackies, Shout out to man. fucking Rackies, man. Rackies. Shout out to all the members, TMD, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my niggas, man. Shout out to guys. I heard about Rockies through uh, like Seasick Lucci and, and yeah, yeah, Baby Pablo. Shout out to them. Shout that, out to them, man. You know that's what excites me about this young Toronto shit. Like yeah. Rockies is hard as fuck. Yeah, Rockies is tough. Yeah. Rockies um, it's producer engineer. He like he makes his own beats and then he raps on it. Like I'm telling you, man. man oh, he's hard. Tough, I think I saw he dropped something this recently. Yeah, yeah. He dropped his tape. Love. How did you guys link up? We actually went to the same high school. Okay. And then um, like his cousin was um. Same age as me, mm-hmm. so you know, and then um, his cousin showed me he was doing music, and then you know we just linked up, just some natural shit. That's amazing. Yeah, that's bro. amazing. That's that's even sicker when you're homies and you're both talented at something. Yeah. You could work together. That's yeah, real. Yeah, he's a different guy, bro. So with uh, growing up in Weston, did you feel like? I don't want to sound like that news guy but like th- it's been known to have some wild shit go on on, yeah. the, on those ends did you feel like you were kind of caught up in that at all nah nah i was nah i was a good kid man that's good man you know i was just doing regular shit everybody play fights gets in a little bit of trouble i wasn't going out here i'm not yeah. i'm not I'm, I'm not in the politics stay to myself you know what i mean i just Facts. get my money hustle that's it man you know gangsta i'm a hustler man you know what i mean I respect yeah, that, bro. bro. I respect that. Is there anyone that you kind of look up to in, in how they go about their business? Like someone that maybe yeah. even in music or in personal life that you're like, nah, I like the way they move. Nah. It's not your own. Yeah, you're your own, own man, bro. Yeah, yeah man. I like Use my brain, you know? It's not how to move tack. That's it, bro. What does that mean to you, like, moving well? Moving tack, you know, you just... You don't do too much. Like I'm not. I'm not here. I'm not trying to die over like you know some, some stupid shit. You know, so I just stay to myself. Stay humble. Keep pushing. Make my peas and just stay out the way. Still, like if I could really do it without this famous shit, like I'd do that. But you know, this when it comes with the rapping, like there's no way to really do it without having like you know attention and shit. So you know, but yeah, I just try to you know just keep my mind focused. I'm not with all the politics and all that ray ray blase blase. If you try me, I'm a I'm a done you, but you know, that's it, stop. Real shit. No, I, I love that, bro. That's a good answer. That's what I like to hear because it's like, I think drama is an easy way to get some eyes on you, but it's for bad reasons. And I don't think it helps yeah. at the end of the day. So avoiding that I, at, all, I, at all costs, I think is a good idea, bro. Yeah. That's real. Yo, and your music, it's interesting too because I feel like you're talking about like spirituality in a way. And even I saw on your IG, you have some like Bible. Yeah, yeah, I'm Christian. Okay, Christian. You're pretty yeah. heavy in that. Yeah, I like that, bro. Because rap music is kind of traditionally had some negative subject matter. Yeah. Did you feel like you wanted to put that positive stuff in there? Yeah, I put, but I actually up? have a couple um Christian music as well. Okay. A couple of nice rap songs, you know. I'm gonna drop those soon too. We're gonna drop those soon too, man. That would be sure. hard because I, I I don't know much Christian music, but I hear that it's popping. Like yeah, yeah. There's a very big market for like, it. Sometimes like Christian music can be a little bit corny. I'm gonna be real, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. But like the shit that I'm trying to make is I'm trying to just make it just like real, like you know, just the real life. Yeah, yeah. man. I, that, that's what I liked about your music. Like the the visuals are hard. You have a good look, like you know, you, yeah. you gotta look like a rapper. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then but I'm listening to the music and you're talking about spiritual shit and like. Yeah positive like inner strength and stuff i'm like this is fire and you're right it's not corny at all like yeah. you can, it bangs yeah still you it's know? like you can relate to it as long as you can relate to it you feel it you feel what i'm feeling then you know you get the message real shit, shit. Yeah. real shit and also like I, again going back to on that point earlier where doing shit yourself i i know you touched on like kind of being alone in your music 
is that something that you feel where it's like you know sometimes yeah like sometimes you gotta just watch who you be fucking with you know because you want to just be fucking with the wrong people like it's like um the biggest blessing in life sometimes is to know who you can trust and who you can't trust you know so yeah i just try to always just keep my distance just really analyze and like just use my tuition to like the fullest extent you know facts that's that's a cheat code man yeah it's a blessing put because trust huge responsibility yeah for both parties you know yeah so if you if you can't trust someone that's a hurt hurting yeah, you like, fuck bro yeah you gotta keep fuck, it moving. you gotta trust them like family you know yeah real shit yeah man how the name where'd the name come from so well tg that's actually means problem in yoba okay so i'm nigerian okay so yeah that's why i speak i speak yoba okay so yeah wahala wahala means trouble trouble so, yeah so i say like you know i'm the trouble to the fucking industry nigga you know okay, what i mean yeah, yeah man. like that man so, just while i teach you chuck you know what i'm saying so yeah man that's my shit like i bring the trouble you know what i mean i'm I coming with a with whole that. lot of shit whole lot of different shit niggas you you know what's up when you see me you know what i mean i rate that so, yeah man. man so some different shit some unique shit it's not like no regular name and my name actually used to be fucking tg bands but i was like nah that's just some childish shit and i changed that I changed that to a hala tg you know i've just been rocking with that since hala tg the trouble for the fucking music shout out to the fucking industry nigga i love that bro shout out to nigeria my my homie is nigerian and she put me onto some sick nigerian artists yeah yeah there's bare afro things going on i got my bro does um afro music too his name is siju shout out to siju man you know what i mean yeah man you see yourself got some heat yeah like i I think you would sound sick over those. You got that like rapper voice, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Over those heart like Nigerian beats, that would be. Yeah, lit. I got some Afro shit coming coming out soon. I have some shit with Siju coming out soon too. You know what I mean? Dope. So yeah, bro, just gonna keep pushing stuff. That's good, man. It's good to not get too locked into one style of music, like we said yeah, before. Man. Got a, got a lot of different shit. I'm always making music every fucking day. Every day I wake up in the morning, I make one song, maybe two songs a day. Keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A song a day? Song a day. Good for you, bro. That's, song a day, that's so. excellent. And you produce Minimal. yourself? No, nah, I don't produce myself. I don't produce the, myself. I fuck with a bunch, a whole lot of producers. Okay. I fuck they, with a bunch, yeah. They send you some packs and you go to work. Send me some beats. Shout out my bro, MT, Rackies. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Drew Scott. Bear Mans, bro. Fuck. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people. That if I don't mention you, I'm sorry. But nah, fuck, shout out the so producers. Many, shout out all the producers, bro. Without the... You have to have the producers, like, the right producers. You know what I mean? Bro, you need you everything. Need, you need the big producers, bro. Like, fuck. Without the beat, there's no song, bro. Huge facts, man. Anyone like that 70%, tries to 70, that, yeah. wrong. People, yeah, man, fuck. 70% is the beat. 30% is the, you know, the shit. Well, fuck. You need the beat, though, bro, for real. Absolutely. So shout out the producers, man. Yeah, like, you could have some crazy bars or some crazy melodies, but if it doesn't sound yeah, right the over the beat. Yeah, the beat is trash. They're just going to turn it off, you know? Facts. So, like, fuck. If you're a nice producer, man, you're really talented for real, bro. I respect that shit. Because it's not easy to make these beats, man. No, it's super true. And, yo, again, that you have that understood already is very important. Plus, with the working with talented video people, too. Yeah. That's the whole package, man. Yeah, man. Every, everything's got to be on point with the mute. The music's got to be fire. The visual has to be fire. The image, the marketing, like, it's all part of the same shit, you know? Yeah. To understand that already, bro, I think you're on a good, a real good path. Trust me, man. Trust me. So, yo, this was just a, a curiosity question. I was just, I forget what song. It might have been Habit. Correct me if I'm wrong. But one of the lyrics was, like, I'm so glad, like, Vlad. Oh, that that's acting up. Acting up. That's a banger, too. Yeah, yeah. That's the Six Buzz one, right? Yeah, that one's on Six Buzz, yeah. That was a banger. That was a really good song. But uh, is that the reference to the Vlad TV? Yeah, yeah. Crunchy Vlad is Vlad? so glad, yeah. I love that, bro. You you a Vlad fan? Yeah. Like, his content. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know you know what I mean? Fuck. I don't like when he interrogates people like that, but you know what I mean? But fuck. You got to make your content, right? But, you know? You feel like, you feel like it's, like, interrogation? Because to me, it's, like... The questions are funny, but also some of these guys answer them so poorly. Like, yeah. do you feel like you got to be smart with how you talk? Yeah, you definitely have to be smart the way you talk when, when you go on that, that fucking podcast. I can't anywhere. Lie. Yeah. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, everywhere like, you got to be smart where you talk. With the inter- job interview, everywhere, man. Fuck. On, yeah. the, on the internet, you have to be smart where you talk. 
I don't know. Just you know, it's like giving out too much. Yeah, you, you have to carry that. yourself properly. Facts. But uh, when I was listening to that, I'm like, that's gotta be from the Crunchy Black. Yeah, man. Fuck. I also had a f- had a, um a childhood friend. His name was Flat, and his name on PS4 was Flat. Is so glad. Okay. So yeah, that that shit was. You know, it was it was both ways. You know what I mean? I like that. Yeah, man. And that's what I love about music when there's like a random bar. Yeah. Where I'm like, is that Some, about this? And then yeah. it's about something else yeah. too. That's fucking cool as hell. Yeah, man. So what um, what's been your favorite part of of becoming a rapper? I, I I'd say like what's something making music simple. As that's that? that's the funnest part. Like when I'm when I'm in the whip, chilling, you know, and I'm just hearing back all the bars. I'm like, fuck, yo, damn. That shit's hard, like you know what I mean. That's 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 where I get like the most, like you know, when yeah. I feel it, when I feel what I'm saying, and like I'm like, damn, I really put it together like that. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's my favorite part. That is sick, music, bro. bro. You bro. see a cre- a creation that you created. that I created. I like I like I like feeling that shit. I'm like, fuck man, yeah, that shit's tough. I feel like it gets the damn near an addiction. It's yeah, like, damn, I made it's addicting. A bang. Yeah, it's addicting. I can't, I can't. It's hard to wake up in the morning and not make a song. I can't lie. If I don't do it, I get kind of cheese, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's a great addiction to have, man. Yeah. It's a positive addiction. You um, you got a home studio? Yeah. So Not like really a home studio, but I have my own thing, and then, you yeah. know, I just mix it on the FL. You know how to mix it? Yeah. That's hard, bro. That's a skill, too. Yeah. And you got a little closet set up or what? Nah, I just got it. I just have it in my room, put a sock over the mic, you know what I mean? Some ghetto shit, but it gets the job done, you know what I mean? Some of the best music of all time is created... In yeah. humble spots, man. Yeah. I love that. That's again, that's great too, because it's like you don't I feel like we make excuses for ourselves sometimes. Like, oh, I don't have studio money or I don't have this and that. You yeah. could if you wanted to you get could. something like, set up. My for my bro Racky's really pushed me to do that. You know, so he's he's been mixing his shit, then he just showed me the walk on and you know, I just started dealing with mine too. So That's so good, bro. You're building you're building skills. Yeah. That you're gonna only improve on. That's so exciting to see. Yeah, man, for sure. You ever been to Nigeria? Yeah, I've been to Nigeria one time. I've been I was over there for like five days. I went to my my hometown village, Peru State, bro. That shit was crazy. Okay. Yeah. Was that a great It's a life? whole different lifestyle. It's a whole different lifestyle out there, you know. God bless everybody in Nigeria, man. You know? What was some of the main differences compared to here? Yo, fuck, man. I don't I don't like being in hot weather, but it, it's fucking hot over there, you know, okay. especially coming from Canada. Like, bro, shit, man. It's fucking it's crazy out there. I got fucking tanned in like two minutes. <laughs> Yo, man. Like Africa was, weather, for fuck, real. Bro, shit. Smells different, feels different. You know what I'm saying? You can't wear no white Air Forces out there. That shit's done in like <laughs> one week, man. That shit's finished. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Bring the black ones. The, the eats, I can't lie. Like, I, I fuck with the Canadian jollof rice more, to be honest. Okay. You know what I mean? But... The suya over there, it was blast, man. That shit was busting, bro. Fuck. That shit was nice, though. I hear so many people go to Nigeria and other parts of Africa for vacation and love it. Like, yeah, rave yeah. about it. Yeah. What do you think it is? Like, the, the, the culture? Yeah, it's the culture, the vibe, the energy. You know what I mean? Nigeria, like, everybody, like, you could be broke. But, you know, let's say if you're broke in Canada, you're going to be depressed and sad and shit, you know? But if you're broke in Nigeria, like, people are still happy. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe not as material as yes. You know? that, that's fine. That definitely is like a Western thing. Yeah, everybody, everybody in there, Nigeria is just a full of bunch of hustlers trying to get some money, man. Yeah, yeah. They just need an opportunity, you know. Yeah, I feel that, bro. And I think everywhere, everywhere. That's how it is in every every place. To be honest, you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, money to be had. Yeah a life to be built i feel like they're making noise bro because i've been hearing about nigeria music specifically yeah. more and more as time noise, goes on yeah. as far as did going out there maybe change your perspective on things a bit like damn, of life more, yeah. yeah yeah fuck man like you know i could have been there i mm. could have been there and say, if my parents didn't take me here then you know i would have yeah. been there my whole life and I, I don't know how i'd be you know so sometimes like it, it, it brings you back to reality like it, it humbles it's like a hum- reality check you know it's like fuck like, I'm complaining about the lifestyle that I'm living right now in Canada, but I could really be in fucking Peru State right now, you know? So Hell, yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, uh, you know? That's a you very... Grateful. That's an awesome statement, bro. It's You're you're 100% right, bro. We could we Sometimes we forget how much we have. Yeah. How good our situation is. Instead, we're f- focused on what we don't have. Exactly. Yo, life can get really real. Yeah. 
got to be a, a grateful, like you said, man. That's yeah, that's amazing. Stuff. And even to just seeing how other people live, I think is very valuable. Like when we're in the one place for too long, I think we forget that there's a whole other world out there, you know? Yeah. It's like, no, these guys are out there and they're doing their fucking thing. I'm not the focus that. out there, you know? Yeah. That's real. And there are, uh, are there other spots that you kind of want to visit? Man, I, fuck. I want to go to so many places, man. I haven't, I haven't really traveled the world like that yet. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I want to go to bare places. Fuck. I want to go to uh, the UK. Trying to go to, uh, trying to go all over the U.S., Dubai, fuck everywhere, man. Egypt, shit, you name it, still everywhere. I love that, bro. I definitely. I want to go to Tokyo. Same, fuck, fam. Man. Tokyo's probably top of my list. Yeah, Tokyo looks crazy. Wanna I, go I want to go there for like the. I, it looks so neon, you know, like the neon lights look unreal, and like it just seems like it's a fucking video game. Down yeah, here, you know. I feel they have like so much shit, like you won't even see on TV over there. Facts. So it's like, fuck, I'm really trying to tap in. We're gonna go to Tokyo one day, bro. We're yeah, speaking man. into yeah, existence man. right He's now. Gonna go to Tokyo, bro. Trust me. Let's fucking get it. But no, I, I, I definitely would, um, would agree that you should go to all those places because it's just a building a life experience. You know, yeah. it's more and more to talk about, more stories. Exactly. You know, that's literally it. Yeah, you're doing more shit. More talk Seeing about, yeah, more shit. More shit. You get exposed to more shit, more foods, more everything. You know, that's a fact, man. You fuck with the UK music. Yeah, I fuck with the UK music heavy. Who's your guys? Heavy. Fuck. Yo, Heady One is tough, man. He's fire. Heady One is hard, bro. I fuck with Heady still. Heady, yeah, Heady's tough, man. Um, Abra. I fuck with Abra. Central C. Yeah. Digger. Frito. Yeah. It's the main ones I listen to. These guys are massive right now, too. Like, some of the yeah. biggest fucking rap stars in the world are UK. Yeah. And I do, actually, I do hear that influence in your music a little bit. Yeah. Even the beat choices. Yeah, the beat choices. Like, heady, heady one beats. Fuck, man. Like, crazy. Hard. You Hard, fuck with bro. Blade Brown? Huh? You fuck with Blade Brown? Blade Brown. I never really tapped in He's yet, hard, but I'm, bro. I'm He's one of my favorite show. UK I'm artists. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Check him out. He's just, like, straight, like... Like drug dealer music, but pure business. Like yeah. I fuck with him. I think you like yeah. it. Yeah, I fuck with it probably still. Hell yeah! Are there other? Um, obviously, you love music. Huge into music. Are you a movie guy too? Like you watched a lot of TV or other? Art yeah, I watch forms? um, you know, Power, mm -hmm. Top Boy. I watch all that shit. BMF, fuck man, those those shows are tough. You know, Absolutely. I watch some crazy shit sometimes too. Like you. You know you? Yeah, you know what, bro? It's too weird for me. Yeah, I feel you still. <laughs> yeah. Everyone got, gets mad at me when I say that. They're like, just stick with it. I'm like, I can't, uh, bro. I don't know what it was. You, you just can't. You can't deep it. Like, if, if you deep it, then, yeah, it's going to be fucking weird. But just watch it to watch it and yeah. it's fire. Just watch it to watch it. Don't don't add that to your, your daily life routine yeah. and you're good, man. Trust me. That's true, bro. You that that because that shit we consume. If you take it too serious yeah. or watch too much of it, it does. Especially make... kids, I wouldn't recommend kids to start watching that shit as like Real when shit. they're young. But you know, if you're an adult, yeah, you can watch that shit, man. Just don't consume any of. You That's know? real. They're showing, yeah. That's real. Is that something that you take with you from your kind of Christian background too? Like keeping things more on the positive side and. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a positive guy, you know. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a negative person. I don't wish bad on nobody. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, man. Guys, still, I really believe in that. Like the what you put out, you get back. Yeah, and if you're, karma, yeah, karma. If you're yeah. putting out positive, I, I think you're putting yourself in a way better position. Yeah, than the opposite. You know, yeah, bro. Oh, that's real as fuck. Have you performed yet? I had only one. I had one. Shout out to Seasick for that. Shout out Seasick Lucci, man. Yeah. Where was that? Um, it was like um, one event downtown. Was it in a very hot, like, apartment type thing? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I was there. Oh, say it was yeah, there yeah. in the summertime. Yeah, yeah, it was the summertime. Yeah, damn, yeah, yeah. I was there, bro. Fucking smoking in the damn kitchen. Damn, man. Shit. You man. were at that. Okay, small there, world, bro. man. Yeah, bro. How did that go? How'd you yeah, feel it was, about that? It was neat, still. The first time, you know, I got to break the ice. So it was cool, bro. You were first cool. performer? Or is nah, nah. Break the Ice I was for like, first, yeah, yeah, your first, first performance? Yeah. Got it. Nerve wracking? Nah. You were good. I was good still. Nah, it's just, you know, just bare people. That's it. Yeah, if you're a rapper, you're built for that. You have to do that shit, man. Facts. Fuck. 
That's you know? amazing. Bro. Only that's from a there, small bro. ass world that you were there for that. Yeah, night. yeah, I was there, man. I remember that really well. Yeah, man. That's fucking lit. Is that something that you see yourself doing more of? Yeah, yeah. I have another one coming on on four twenty. Okay, let's go four twenty, man. In Toronto? Yeah, I'm gonna post about. I'm gonna get the yeah, details man. about that, and then, you know, I'm, I'm gonna let you promo know on here for sure. I'm excited yeah, for that. Trust me, that'll be fucking lit. Cause then now you're like being well rounded as an artist. Yeah, you got all the visuals, like we said, the beat selections, the rapping style is good. Plus, you're performing. Yeah, that's oh, you're building that damn foundation. Trust me, bro. Trust me. Are there rappers that you look at and see how their careers have gone and, and say, maybe that's kind of similar path that I would like to go down? Uh, n- not really, not you know? Really. Yeah. I like not that, bro. Really. Fre- not just really. a pure, fresh sleep. Yeah. Wherever you, see, wherever you go is yours. Yeah. Fuck with you know, that. like, I fuck with how people move, you know what I That's mean? That's what I mean. But, you know, I want to do it my own way, yeah. you know what I mean? To, to my lifestyle, like, the way I like to be, you know? You feel like you always been that way? Yeah. I don't I don't really like following what people do. Facts, bro. Nah. I'm the exact same way. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with that. Nah. That, that can't be taught or changed either. Like, that's in you, you yeah. know? I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, yo, the only times in my life where I'm ever unhappy is when I did something I didn't really want to do. Yeah, And man. I followed someone. I'm like, no. Yeah. If I make a mistake, I'm cool with that if it's my mistake, you know? Trust me, yeah. That's good, I bro. I fuck with that still. I was going to keep you out of trouble, man. Yeah, man. Fuck, I'm not... Not into that still. Do you, do the homies get upset with you sometimes? We're like, damn, bro, just come or or fucking just do this, and you're like, no, I can't, man. Shit, man. They know how I am, bro. I'm, exactly. I'm, not, I'm not doing exactly. that shit, bro. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, man. Fuck. You man. gotta look somewhere else for that. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Like people like like to like smoke weed before like they start rapping and shit. I'm, yeah. I'm not like that still. Everything is sober. Good for you, man. Yeah, man. Good for you. Sober. I don't need no drugs, man. No, I highly respect that, man. My brother, he doesn't drink or smoke at all, and I do, but I tell him, I'm like, yo, I'm actually happy that you don't because it's it's healthier, bro. Like, you're living way healthier. Yeah, and I go to the gym. I go to the gym. I used to play soccer, bro. I used to be fucking crazy, bro. Be fucking nice. Yeah? You took it serious? Yeah. I used to be fucking dirty. Like, I promise you, if they put me in that position, fuck. I would have been out of here still. Do you, you know? still play, like, for fun, or you just kind of left that alone? Nah. In high school, I dropped it, but I would have been nice, man. I would have been fucking dirty. I started playing basketball in, like, grade 10, 11. You know, I'm I'm pretty saucy with it still. You could get chefed up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, you're I'm a fine. big guy, bro. I could definitely see you being a problem out there. Yeah, bro. Was soccer, like, your passion before music became a passion? Yeah. Yeah, man. I get that, man. Soccer, yeah. Soccer was definitely my passion before. When I was a youngin', for sure, yeah. Soccer was definitely my passion. Do you 100%. take, like, your soccer strategy? Like, I would assume you're a pretty competitive guy when you're playing soccer. Do you kind of take that with you now in your music? Nah. I wasn't really, like, competitive. Like, okay. it was just natural. Like, I just went. You just love to do it. Yeah. I just do it. Like, I wasn't, like, fuck. Like, oh, shit, I got to be better than this guy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I was never like that. You know, I'm like, damn, like, you know, I'm just naturally just going to do it. Real you know? shit. And you're doing it now. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. Fuck with that, bro. So when you released, um, you released your recent project, Valentine's Day, right? Yeah, Poetic Romance. Poetic Got some crazy, romance. Some crazy joints on there. Yes, very fire, bro. And again, like we said earlier, it's very different from your other tracks. Yeah, yeah. I try to show, like, you know, my my other side, you know? Yeah, so it's man. more for, like, the woman, you know? Did you yeah. get some? Did you get some female, um, like applause from that? Like you were get, getting yeah, a response yeah, yeah. from them, especially from my girl. My girl loves that type of music, you know. So I was like, "Fuck!" I started dropping bare, you know, songs for the girls, you know. It's so good, yeah, man. So love shit, you know. I'm trying I like to be that. in every every position, every every part of life where I can relate to, you know. Facts. You have something for yeah. every different type of palette. It's something you gotta have in your bag. Like you just gotta, you gotta. If you wanna like be like really really there you gotta add some different shit to your bag you know what i mean yes i agree with you some shit that fits you the way you like to what you like to do but you just gotta be different facts yeah. you're right if it's natural for you to do huge. yeah no, that's me. real bro because I, I like that because i came like i'm born in 95 so like i really remember early 2000s like nelly 
yeah and, like those really like beautiful like r&b like yeah yeah, yeah. you yeah. know what i'm saying and they were great great songs and i feel like it kind of got lost over time yeah definitely i think it might be coming back a bit so i'm happy yeah, that so you're diving back. in like but those are like classics like classics. you know you can't you can't beat that you exactly. know what i mean like it's the original copy you know Something I want to tap in with soon is soul music. I want to mm. tap in with the soul music, bro. Soul music's tough. You listen to soul music? Yeah. The older shit? Like Marvin Gaye? Nah. What's that guy's name again, man? It's like Bobby Some. Bobby Womack? Nah, like Bobby. Fuck. He's sounding on... What you know about love? That shit is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Pop Smoke rapped over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, that's um, a crazy song. Allegra. Allegra rapped over that shit, too. Nah, she was singing, but that shit, that shit's hard, man. That's, that's great. Like, like you said, bro, that's that's like classic music. Yeah, it's great music. It's in, it's instruments, it's different sounds. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's a different. It's a different. It's a whole different part of time, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I think the like pop smoke example again. Like when done properly, it sounds amazing. Yeah, like, it sounds refresh. It sounds real good. It sounds crazy, bro. I, I, I like that. I could definitely see a Wahala soul album coming, you know. Nah, 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 not nah, that, but, you know, just like, you know. You never know. Some some shit, you know. A couple bangers here yeah. and there. But it's, it's really nice, like, it's calming, like, you're just doing your morning routine in the morning. You just turn on some soul music. It's nice, man. You know? Yo, that's interesting. What What's something that you do to kind of relax? Like, what's your, what's your, what's your go-to, like, relaxing? Man, fucking NBA 2K, okay. bro. That NBA 2K, fuck, man. Big basketball guy? Yeah. Now, I'm not a big basketball fan, but, you know, I I play 2K. I'm crazy at 2K, bro. Online? Yeah, yeah. Twos, yeah. Bro, I remember I was in, like, kind of grade 12. When I was in grade 12 was when I was really heavy in 2K, bro. I would, damn near was addicted to it. I for sure was addicted to it. Everybody had their face, when you, man. When you get, especially if you get, like, pretty good with it. Yeah. Fuck. Everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody gets their face, man. I was never a Call of Duty guy, but 2K, I used to play 2K, man. GTA, that's it. And FIFA. Yeah, those are three big ones for sure. Yeah. Um, GTA 5? GTA 5, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for the GTA 6? Yeah, Ooh. man. I wish they would make a damn Toronto map. Yeah. That would be fucking crazy. GTA crazy. Toronto. They have, like, the whole world. They have, like, fucking Tokyo and shit, man. Fuck, bro. Crazy, bro. Crazy, man. So where do you see where, where where is your goals with this shit, man? I know we're still in the beginning stages, but I know you have a vision for yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to be in the industry. I know I'm gonna you. I'm, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm trouble to the industry, but fuck, I'm trying to get in the industry still. So you know, over time, I'm just gonna keep pushing, keep doing my thing. You know. Yeah. Just keep going. Like obviously, like at the beginning, you don't see the results you're looking for. It sometimes it's, it's draining and it might push you, but sometimes you just gotta take your pain and put it into motivation. You know. Real shit. Yeah, bro. I see it, bro. I see a lot of potential in, in what you're trying to do and what you're doing currently. So yeah, I think you're getting there, man. I think yeah, you're respect, well on bro. your fucking way. Love, love, bro. You, um, you we moving away from West, and you feel like that was good for you, like get a little change of scenery. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing I didn't go to high school over there. Okay, so you left before high school. Yeah, yeah. Maybe caught up in like. Yeah, you know, it's like, fuck, the people around me, you know what I mean? Yeah. It probably wouldn't be good for me, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, that's a great everything happens for a reason, you know? Facts, bro. It's it's awesome. Like, that's such a another hard thing to learn, too. Like, I could love these people, but what they're doing yeah, can you know, impact me. And like, it's, There's nothing wrong with having people like that in your life. No. You know what I mean? It's like, well, fuck. You just have to know what position they are in your life. Real shit. You just can't follow what they do. Like, at the end of the day, all these people, like, they have a reason why they're doing what they're doing. You know yes. what I mean? It's, but, you know, you have a reason. You have, you're doing what you're doing. You just can't follow what they're doing. You exactly. know what I mean? You have to just be yourself, be your own person. So I never had to really just go and start just fucking doing all that stupid shit, you know? So Real I'm, shit. I'm not going to do it. That's an amazing way to put it, bro. Because it's it's true. Like I, we're not here to judge their. Yeah, lifestyle. I'm not. Like you know, some people they're put in that situation. Some people don't have money, bro. Some people have family to take care of. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. By any means, like I'd in, I'd insist for you to go do that. Yeah, real shit. You know what I mean? You do what you do. I'm yeah, no better. Well, I, than I don't you. have to do that. So exactly. You know, I'm just one of the fortunate ones. I didn't have to do that. No, that's real as hell, bro. And I'm glad you know that because I think we kind of sometimes confuse like loyalty with 
crashing out. Yeah. You know, it's like, yo, I could be loyal to you, but I can't. No, I'm not a that. crash out, bro. Exactly. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a smart guy, man. Yeah, fam. Like, got a whole life to live. Yeah. Only get it once. That's real as fuck. Are you uh, are you big into like fashion and shit like that too? Because I see I see in the videos you had you know yeah man the, cars the, the, you know the, what I'm saying the coats on I'm a coat guy I love coats bro what, love what's that your shit. big what's your favorite ah uh, fuck I have macaw shit I don't know man I don't have a favorite there's just so many bro it like, catches your yeah, eye it's like damn like everyone's just nice you know calm. Sometimes I don't even like the flat. Sometimes I like the trench coat, you know, mm-hmm. the long shit. like That mafia style. Yeah, that shit's tough, bro. It I is. I don't know. There's a lot of tough coats out there, bro. I'm trying to make my own shit soon, too. Okay. Yeah. I fuck with that, man. Some Wahala merch. Yeah, man. Great some Yahoo? Some Yahoo <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? Would you ever think about doing some, like, modeling type shit? Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna t- I'm trying to tap it with everything soon. That's good. Everything, bro. I feel like that's becoming more and more like common in rap music specifically too. Yeah. You see like ASAP Rocky killing it with that shit. Like Yeah. It's bro, fashion's a part of the game. It's part of the game, it's man. You gotta part. have fashion, bro. Real shit. You know, Real it's shit. Just, it's comes with it, you know, type shit. Yeah, man, like to we've touched on that already, but to be a rapper you need to have a certain style. A certain image. It. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like, that. You gotta be co- very confident. Yeah. Like, you gotta look cool as fuck. You gotta look cool. <laughs> you, you gotta sound good. You gotta sound good. And yeah, I gotta be confident in your own music, you know? If someone says the music's trash, it can't, like, bother you. Facts. For a minute, you know? Facts. Because if, if, then if you think it's trash, you're gonna make trash. You're gonna make some garbage music, man. Real shit. You watch a lot of interviews? No. Can I keep away from that? It's not like I keep away. I just don't really watch interviews. Got that. Was there, like... Was there a reason why you felt you wanted to tap in with your with your first interview? Fuck, Just, man. This is time to do. This is, I've been doing this for like three years. You know what I mean? Get the face out yeah, there man. with the personality. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, you know where, where it started. And then, you know, a couple of years later, I could look back where I started to where I'm at now, you know? Really? Gotta shit. have that, bro. Documentation, man. Yeah. It's very, very good. 100%. Some people like this type of shit, too. Yeah, they like seeing this type of shit. Get to know you type of shit, you know? Big facts. If someone were to get to know you, what's something that they wouldn't expect you're, you're interested in? What's maybe uh, not a guilty pleasure, but like, what's something that you I'm really like talking enjoy? about space, man. Like, space. Fuck. Still. Oh, the planets, bro. Fuck. I like that. The planets and shit. I like talking about that shit. Fucking space. Like, like right now as we speak, there's probably a whole next planet. You know what I mean? And they have life too, you know? Real shit. When I just think about that shit, because, like, look how big the world is. Like, there's so many parts I haven't even been to, you know? Like, Bro, fuck. We're like a speck. That's what I'm saying. There's only so much I really see in my life. And the fact that there's a whole, like, other planet probably with life and, like, there's a bunch of millions of galaxies and shit. That shit's crazy to me. There's a whole, whole universe to yeah, see. Yeah, that's what real. I'm saying, man. You ever go up north? No. Nah. Stars are crazy out there, bro. For real? Yeah, you see it. So, like, go, like, maybe th- two, three hours up north, and you actually see stars. Here, you can't really see it. It's too many. But too you much see it, shit. like, up close? Clear, bro. It's beautiful. Damn. I, I feel like you would fuck with it. Yeah. So, as you bring a little telescope or some shit. Yeah, fuck, it, It's It's, a, like, kind of what you're saying with Nigeria. Like, it's humbling to see, like, yo, wow, there's something not that far away and completely different look at things, yeah. you know? Highly would recommend that, bro. So, yo, we're uh, we're approaching on an hour. Is there anything that you want to plug specifically, promote? Yeah, man, fuck. Go spend poetic romance, you know what I'm saying? TMD tapes coming out soon. Shout out to all the members, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, bro. Uh, I, got, I got some fucking heat coming, man. Like, I changed my whole sound, you know what I mean? I have some, some shit for everybody. Okay. Everybody listen to for people that don't like cursing in their music, people that like learning about some real life shit, you know what I'm saying? I got some music for the girls, I got some dance hall things, you wanna get groovy, you wanna have a good time, I got you, you know what I'm saying? I have everything, bro. I have everything in my Duffy, man, shit. Fuck. I'm expecting that, bro. I'm expecting big things, I'm very excited. You don't curse in any of your music? No, I curse a lot, but I have some music I don't curse in still. Okay, sick. Yeah. Yeah. I try to, like, you know, because sometimes it's, like, 
like when you talk to like people like day to day like you realize some people actually don't like and appreciate yeah. when like you be just cursing all the time you know what i mean yeah so i was like fuck you know that's let's make true, some music bro. where i should stop cursing and sometimes that's better for like the radio and shit i was gonna say that yeah sometimes like this like little kid you know it's like fuck i don't want to be cursing in front of no kids you know facts bro so, that will make the mom so happy like oh he doesn't swear in his raps yeah, like yeah. yeah listen to it yeah that's funny as fuck that's that's really true man like now, before before um like a while back i was selling cars okay i used to be a salesman so you Sick. know so like when i when i like deep all these type of guys you know what i'm saying like they don't they don't like listening to a bunch of music where people are swearing they, True. Like, they like just listening to like some calm music you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so um just good solid music yeah some calm music to just listen to you know some positive like things to keep them going during the day yeah because like when you're working like and you're selling cars you got to be like fully focused during the whole day you know what i mean you got to be aggressive with your shit so if you're listening to like some some like you're just cursing just talking about this this and that like you gotta be talking about some positive shit sometimes you know to keep those type of guys moving Facts. so i started making music for those type of people you know some people that be struggling some pain music right it's every every genre man like, you can't you can't just hold me to one thing you know facts can't yeah. that that's very smart bro how long were you selling cars for selling cars for like eight months yeah like eight months like a year, basically, kind of, yeah. Sales is such... I, I, I've done sales I was fucking good life. at it, man. I was selling that shit. You know, I was, fuck, man. Fuck. You don't know about that stuff. But I was I was a nice salesman, bro. Fuck, man. Used cars or new or both? Both. Sick. Some both still. Yo, sales is an amazing way to sharpen your uh, communication skills. Yeah. Talking to... You might... I'm sure you had that experience where, like, you're talking to... A different demographic. Yeah, you talk to every day. Every every day talking to people with all cultures. You get to learn so much about people, how people maneuver, how people look at things, how people analyze things, deep things. You know what I mean? What people like, don't like. You know what I mean? Facts. Plus, you would approaching people. You know, just understanding like how human nature works. Like sales, it really helps with that. It's very psychological. Yeah. It's not just like, yeah, it's not like you just slickly talk and yeah. it's, you have to understand. You got to actually like build a relationship yeah. with like all your, your people. And it's like the same thing with music. Like you're, you're going around, you're, you're meeting new people every day. You know what I mean? You're, you're talking, you're, you're networking, you know, it's the same shit. So yeah. it is, bro. There's that term in like the corporate world, transferable skills. And yeah. you have that already, bro. Yeah. Like if you're a good salesperson, to be an artist that's so crucial yeah i never seen that before too it's a fucking sales guy to a fucking artist man shit it's amazing bro i love talking that sales shit for the reasons you said like you realize how to talk to different people what's important to them yeah being smart about it 100 100 oh, that's real man yo what's your ig oh wahala tg wahala tg and yeah, you got man. a youtube too yeah same shit wahala tg spotify apple music you name everything with Hala Tiji, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you know, man. What does that mean? Man, it means fuck. <laughs> it means, nah, nah. It, it's in your bar. It means, it means scammer still, but. Scammer? Know, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, Maybe it's my sauce, man. It, man. I put it, put it in my eyelids, man. That's my shit, shaw. Sure. Yeah. Ooh. You've taken that word over now. Yeah, it's, it's my word now. It's a different meaning. It belongs to me, man. Yo, last thing, actually. I don't know if you've ever heard this. I'm going to be a dummy for saying it. Anyone ever said you look like Future? Nah. Never? Never. With the hood on, you kind of look like Future to me. No, so. no one ever told me that before, nah. Yo, awesome artist. So that's awesome. a call, yeah, you know? Yeah, It's fucking hilarious. Yo, appreciate you coming out, bro. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for having me, bro. My God, I'm very excited for what you got coming, your next shows, our al uh, album songs. Yeah, man. Fucking out here. Go check out Wahala TG. Like, comment, subscribe on all his shit. Like, you know, comment, bro. subscribe, versatile vigilante. Let's get it, man. Shout out Nigeria. Ciao.